how to overlay telemetry data for the DJI FPV drone on your videos, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan, and on this channel we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone related, if that's something you're into, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. So today we're gonna to talk about how to overlay telemetry data on your videos, whether it be for YouTube, social media, or what have you. You can overlay your, say your speed, your altitude, distance, those types of things onto those videos fairly easily, and we're gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go down to, um, in the menu, you need to go down to settings, and then you need to go down to camera, and then finally you need to go down to, you'll have to scroll all the way down to advanced settings. And keep scrolling down all the way to the bottom where it says video subtitles, and you'll turn that on, and then go ahead and fly as you normally would. So I got the drone fired up. I'm gonna go ahead and fly around the block real quick, just as I normally would fly, and then we'll go inside and we'll go to the computer and show you exactly how to overlay the telemetry data. So we just got done with the flight. Well, I can turn my uh, strobe light off here one second. So now that we got done with the flight, we can go ahead and go back inside and I'll show you how to overlay that telemetry data. Let's go. All right, so now we're back at the computer. We're using a Windows machine for this, but you can also use Mac as well. Both the applications we're going to be discussing today are available on both platforms. The, uh, there are three methods that we're going to discuss. Two of them are free. One of them is a paid method. Uh, the first uh, two methods use Dashware, and they are free. Uh, the last one we are going to discuss is called Telemetry Overlay. Uh, it is a paid application, runs about $99 usually. All right, so to start off with method number one, first we need to convert the .srt subtitle file to a .gpx file. And the way that we go about doing that is we need to hit the internet, we need to go to the DJI Telemetry Overlay site, and then there is a uh, DJI SRT viewer. All we need to do is hit the Load Files button. And now you need to go and get the .srt file that was recorded on the SD card on your drone and load that into uh, the website. You go ahead and hit the open button and you'll see after it processes that your whole flight path is on there. Uh, you can see it both in a, a plan view and a 3D view. But then we need to go over and hit the download.gpx button. It's there on the side and it will download that GPX file. On the next step we need to do, we need to go ahead and get the Dashware application. And so uh, links for both of these uh, sites are down in the description below. So we'll go to the Dashware site and then hit the uh, download button. And of course, after it's downloaded, you need to go ahead and install it, and then we will uh, launch it after that. All right, now we need to go ahead and create a new project within Dashware, and we will just give it any sort of name. And then under the project template type, we will go ahead and select None, and then hit OK. The next step is to go ahead and import the video file into Dashware. So just navigate to the location of the video file from your drone and hit the plus button and then open. And then after that's done, we need to go ahead and import the .gpx file that we downloaded into Dashware. So hit that plus mark. Now under the data profile, make sure you select the GPX option. And next, we need to go ahead and sync the telemetry with the video. In order to do that, go to the, T, the uh, synchronization tab and then click on the button that says synchronize with video. Now, after that's done, if you go to the description of this video, you will see a download that you can actually download the gauge that we designed. And then we need to, to import that into Dashware. So what we will do is we will go to the gauge tab and then we will hit the import button. 
and then navigate to the file that you downloaded and it will then be imported into the gauge toolbox. It probably will not ask you to give it a unique name like this, it's just I already had it in my library. All right, and there it is in the library. Now it is time to add the gauge to your video. So from that gauge toolbox, simply just drag and drop it over onto your video. And there it is. You can resize it and move it around how you wish. And I am going to go ahead and fast forward slightly into this video so you can see what happens. Now you'll notice things like altitude and takeoff distance and a few other things like the max altitude, max distance, and uh, as well as the um, satellite count on the end. That does not work using this method. So if you want those in there as well, you can go ahead and continue on to method two. It is a little more complicated, but it will fill out those additional things for you. But you can see as this plays through that those, all those telemetry numbers do change as it continues to play through. Now it is a little bit stuttery on this because I've got a recording going, a screen recording, and it's norm not normally like that. So now we're getting into method two. Method two is a little bit more complicated. There are more steps, but you will find out here in a few minutes that you will get a lot more information this way. First thing that we need to do, we need to go ahead and plug in our mobile device into our goggles, and then we need to sync the flight logs in, DJ, in the DJI uh, Fly app. So after it's plugged in, start the DJI Fly app, and then you will click on the profile button down at the bottom, and then hit the more button on the uh, lower left-hand side and then you should be able to sync there with the sync button on the upper right hand corner and then once synchronization is done then we will be able to go ahead and copy that data file off of there we need to plug our phone into our computer and then navigate to the uh, it'll be internal storage and then DJI folder and then the DJI Go 5 folder, then flight records, and then it is the uh, MC download flight records folder, and then you will be able to find your data files there listed by date in there. What we need to do is just go ahead and copy those off so they are off on your local hard drive. And then after we are done doing that, we need to upload those to a site called AirData. After we upload those, uh, you will need to create an account, upload it, and then you will see when you select that record, there is a GPX and a CSV download. We're gonna download the CSV file this time. After the CSV file is downloaded and is on your computer, we can then go back into Dashware and then we can import, or we're gonna have to create a new project first. So I'll go ahead and call this something a little bit different this time. And we will go ahead and set the project template to none again. All right, and then what we need to do after that, we need to go ahead and import the video file similar to how we did before. Just hit that plus mark navigate to your file and hit OK. And then we need to go ahead and import our telemetry data. So if you remember before, we downloaded a CSV file. We need to import that same CSV file into Dashware. Hit the plus button next to telemetry, navigate to your .csv file, and then we need to give it a data type of, one second here, all right, when you scroll down, it's going to be called Flytrex. So navigate under Choose Data Profile Flytrex and hit the Add button. All right, and just like before, we also need to go ahead and synchronize the uh, telemetry with the video. So on the Synchronization tab, 
go ahead and make sure that checkbox down at the bottom is set to sync with video. And then it is time to add the gauge to the video. Now, if you already imported the gauge previous, then you don't need to do it again. It should already be in your library. Just go ahead and click on that gauge toolbox and then drag and drop that into the video. Now again, you can resize it and uh, move it around just like you did before. But now when I fast forward, you notice that all of the telemetry data is being filled out in that gauge. We have everything now with um, altitude, sea level, uh, satellite counts in there, all of those good things are now working for us. So this is one advantage that using that .dat file converted to a CSV file really helps us out, gives us all that additional information to work with. Now when you scroll through your gauge toolbox on the right hand side, you'll see many others in there that you can work with. Most of them are compatible. You'll see some specialized ones. There's a whole section for UAV type uh, gauges that will also work. All you need to do is simply drag and drop them, find ones that you like. You can also edit all of these. There are plenty of other tutorials out there on how to edit gauges in Dashware, so we won't get into that. Um, but these are some really cool gauges. Just play with them, see which ones you like best. Another fun one is to add your GPS path. And we'll drag and drop that one in, and it will actually show your location on the path as you scroll through the video. You can do things like edit the, uh, the colors and those sorts of things of the path, as well as the drone itself. Obviously, rescale how you wish. Uh, that's another very cool one. Now one thing I have noticed, there is a slight delay from when you start recording to when it starts logging the, uh, the telemetry. So if you go to the synchronization tab and uncheck sync with video, you can then drag that slider around until you get, then you'll see the red dot move to where your current location is, and then click that, click that sync with video button again, and everything will be synced back up, and you'll see that I had a, just a couple second delay uh, for that, just 1.1 second delay, so. And now it looks like everything is lined up pretty good. So now it is going to be time to go ahead and export our video. Now to export your video, just go over to the File tab, and then you're gonna go ahead and click Create Video. Go ahead and set all your video parameters correctly, and save your save location set. And then I will go ahead and show a quick rendered version of what that's going to look like with all of the telemetry data overlaid and rendered out. It does take a couple minutes depending on how long your video is and how fast your computer is. All right, now moving on to method number three. This is the paid method. You will need to either pay for or download the free trial of the telemetry overlay app. You will then of course need to install the program and then we are ready to add your video to the application. After clicking the load video files, navigate to the location of your video file and click open. Now you'll see it'll say optimizing files. You can do that if you want a smoother playback or you can just go ahead and skip this. It will go through the processing telemetry. Now since our GPX and CSV files were in the same location as the video file, it automatically found that. And uh, if it did not though, you can go to the telemetry tab and you can add it yourself by navigating to the location of your telemetry file. Now you'll see it went ahead and added several gauges for you already. You have uh, speed and altitude, you have g-forces, you have that map there, uh, as well as heading and the distance traveled. You will also see that there is a telemetry overlay watermark on it if you have the trial version like I do right now. Now you also see that there are several other gauges that you can add and when you go to the camera tab, you can add things like f-stop, uh, let's go ahead and add ISO, and we will go ahead and add shutter speed, 
So those th sorts of things are in there for you as well. Uh, obviously those will change too as your uh, camera changes while, while you're flying. Now there are also some other gauges that are specifically drone related that you can experiment with. Uh, several other gauges and graphs and those sorts of things and I'm told that the full version has many more things you can do even with control sticks. I have not purchased it yet. I am probably planning on doing that shortly. But yeah, this is a pretty nice paid option if you have the extra hundred bucks to spend. So that's going to wrap this video up. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button down below and also subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. Products used in this video today are going to be down in the description below. Some of them are affiliate links. We do get a small kickback for you using those links. Doesn't cost you anything else, but it helps the channel out greatly, and we appreciate it. So that's it. Fly safe, and bye for now.